In this video, I'm going to be painting a bunch of little goblins. I recently ordered uh, a set of 32 uh, little goblins from the Lord of the Rings game. The uh, Lord of the Rings Fantasy Battle... Uh, Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. I don't play this game. Uh, I never have any intention of playing this game. So I'm. why did I buy these and why am I gonna paint them? I, I'm not really sure. Why does anybody do anything? Uh, I should be painting a lot of other things. I have a bunch of space marines I need to paint, a bunch of Tau, a bunch of Grey Knights. But these guys caught my eye and they look like they'd be really easy and really fun. So I'm gonna make a horde of them. I don't know, maybe I can use them for Necromunda or something. I've got a bunch of them. They're very cool. I can use them as mutants, I'm sure. There's a fun scenario in Necromunda where you have a horde of mutants. Okay, mutant cannibals specifically coming after you. Um, I've already put some sand on their bases and primed them with uh, wraith bone. So I'm just going to go to town with some contrast paints. I want them to be gross little bastards. So I'm going to do their base color as uh, gillum and flesh. So I'm going to go to town just putting a bunch of this on them. Also, here's... Uh, my second Necromunda gang that I'm going to start painting up soon uh, for my wife so that she plays with me because she won't paint any miniatures and I want to play games with her. Gross. All right, I think I'm going to take uh, some lighter kind of like tannish pink and just dry brush it across these guys. Actually, I'm not sure if I like how that looks with the... Uh... Hmm... Let's compare it. So this is without a dry brush, just the contrast paint, and this is with a dry brush. Although that's a bad one. He still looks bad. I need to touch him up. This is with a dry brush. Um, also with a dry, with a dry brush. And I don't know if I like how this looks. It's kind of dusty. It's kind of. Mm, I'll think about it. All right, here's a goblin with instead a little bit of quick, dirty highlighting, which uh, I think I like a lot better than this dusty look the dry brush is given. So I'm gonna abandon that. It's gonna take a little bit more work, but as you can see, it's like really sloppy, just quick highlights, which is fine because you're gonna be viewing these guys from a distance and they're hopefully in whatever game they're in, they're gonna die quick. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a bunch of sloppy, quick highlights on them instead. Cool, all the little highlighting is done. Um, I'm gonna give them like some bruises and sores and stuff by using contrast paints. Magos purple, plague bearer flesh, and what is this? Flesh tear is red if I need to. Just make them look gross. Yay, that looks unpleasant. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I think my next step is going to be the hair. Administratum gray. Uh, I think that's going to be all right for the hair. Once I get a wash on it and do a little bit of like Dawnstone highlighting or something, I think it'll look great. Next, we're going to do their dumb little loincloths. Yeah, that's a good next step. Doom bowl brown, perhaps. All right, I got the, uh, the leather and I did the metal and then went ahead and just did uh, Agrix Earthshade on the hair, the weapons, and the leather. It's kind of good. I'm going to do their eyes now is the plan. Oh, and I did little white, just a tiniest bit of white on their teeth, and then threw some agrix over that, so it kind of gave it some recesses. Yeah, I'm going to do eyes. Now to do little yellow dots on everybody. Okay, now this is a very, very delicate. I got a nice little micron pen here. It's 005, where is there? Is which is the smallest size I have. I'm just going to do a little... Yay! And then also on that one. And then he looks like a little goober. Oh, look at that guy. What do you think, wife? Grand. She's holding the camera. Thank you, wife. Creepy All right. little weirdo. Yep. Mm, I don't know if yellow's working. I don't think the yellow pops enough from the skin. I'll try it on another one. Uh, uh, from a distance. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. I think if it were red or blue or something, it would stand out too much. I think that works great. Okay, everybody's got yellow eyes and tiny little dots on their eyes. And they all look pretty gross. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to do a little dry brush of Necron compound on the weapons, I think. And then it's time to move on to the bases. 
it's always subtle, but Necron Compab just makes the weapon stand out a little bit more. Just a little bit dry brushed on the tip of the sword there. Uh, where did it turn out really good? I think on this guy's long sword. I think it turned, yeah, just makes it stand out a little bit. That's kind of a messy job, actually. Um, anyway, now we're going to do the bases. How are we going to do the bases, though? I could just slap Astrogranite on there, uh, which I just bought a fresh pot, but I've already made a point of putting sand on their bases, so there's already texture there. So I could just do a contrast paint, like whatever the gray one is, Basilicum, Basilicondum gray, I think. Uh, but do I want to do gray? I don't actually know what I'm going to use these guys for. Um, if I use them for Necromunda, a nice like gray or a bronze might be nice. But if I end up using them for, I don't know, an RPG in the future, then maybe like grass or like a stone. Honestly, I think Astrogram might be the way to go. Um, that feels like the most neutral option, so I'm going to do that. I'm never sure of the proper way to apply these texture paints, though. I feel like they always gum up the brush and it doesn't spread well, and then it like goes up the side of the brush, and I end up just getting like astrogranite all over their legs and stuff. Right? Like, that doesn't look proper. He shouldn't. The brush was, I used my dry brush for this, and on the one hand, like, it ruined my dry brush, but also, like, it's just so thick. It's getting, hmm. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Hmm. No, this isn't working much better. It's too goopy and hard to... Ugh. What is this? It's a basing tool is what it is. Although I think it was the key to our bathroom at one point. Uh, turns out this is not the best. Um, and the sand that I put on there initially actually is making it harder to apply the astrogranite. So I'm going to stop that. And instead, what I've been doing is putting a little bit of astrogranite uh, on the bases just to add a bit more texture. And then just painting it over with basiliconum gray. And once that dries, I... Th oh, where's my dry one? Ah, here's a dry one. Once that dries, it actually looks pretty good. And the sand already adds some texture to it. I might do a little bit of light dry brushing on it. Um, maybe Administratum Gray, maybe Dawnstone. Um, but yeah, so I got a few more of those to do, and then we we'll get at it. And everybody is based. Um, after that, I went around uh, with Army Painter's Matte Black uh, and did the rims of the bases. I think it turned out fine. Here's a fire extinguisher. Uh, I like Army Painter's Matte Black just because it's a cheap matte black, and it's also um, it's pretty thin. I barely have to put any water in it to get it a nice, smooth texture around the base like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some touch-ups. Anything that looks white on the base, I'm going to put a little bit of more basiliconum gray on, just so it blends in better. And just do some touch-ups on skin and stuff, and I think I'm good. And with that, this little project is done. Um, I gotta tell you, it feels good to buy a model kit, uh, assemble it, and then paint it right away uh, without having it sit on my shelves or in a box for ever. If you like this video, uh, please give it a like or hey, even subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm probably gonna do more of these and people respond well to them. Um, any thoughts on here, leave a comment. I always enjoy interacting with people and for whatever reason, I, I can't pretend to understand why, uh, the YouTube algorithm loves comments. So leaving a comment really helps me. Thanks everyone. Now I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Necromunda? Necromunda, that sounds good.